Hello, it's Joanna here. Um, I'm here to share my latest journal. It's uh, the first fabric cover that I've attempted um, and I'm pleased with the result. I followed a, a journal tutorial from Heather Wilkinson, how to make a fabric journal cover out of a padded envelope and I'll put the um, link to her channel in the description box below. It was a really good tutorial. So that's what I've done. I've used a padded envelope to make this journal cover and I've used various scraps of material on the front um, and bits of tatted crochet. Um, there's a little pocket there, bits of lace and various uh, bits of braiding and then the same on the back. There's That's part of a, um, a doily a mat and then there's this gold material again and I've sewn it round the edges and a bit round the actual picture as well and then there's some buttons sewn on and this was off a brooch this piece of sari material and I just um, added this little uh, flower here that's from um, an old necklace of mine and actually it was very very bright gold so I painted it green to age it a bit and I just I love all these colours together I think these are my favourite colour combination um, which is like pinks, blues, um, greens and golds and creams it's so vintage and it's really shabby chic, chic the colour it's a real departure for me because I don't usually do shabby chic and uh, I really love this painting on the front this is um, John William Waterhouse I think it's called Dream of a Rose but I just printed that out onto some aged cotton um, and uh, yeah I really like how the covers turned out and then that's a little pocket got this tag in here and it's tied with some uh, lace that I think I did avocado dyeing with this it's a, it's slightly pink I mean, yes but I like the look of that I mean it could have it could be a longer tie but I just like the the faded pink look of that um, and I'll put the measurements in the box below. I haven't actually measured it yet. It's got one signature, as you can see, it's quite chunky. Um, let's open it up. And so this has got a uh, material lining, and then I did what um, Heather did in her tutorial. I did the same thing, which was to put the pocket all along um, and then sew around it. So I've used this tatted um, crochet for the pocket, and then this nice green edging. And so we've got two vintage postcards. Uh, I like the way that she's actually blotted her her pen a bit. I think that just adds authenticity and that's it's really nice writing and it's a French postcard. And then that one as well. So this is on the theme of a rose. And then this paper that I've done a little bit of collage on. That's from an old uh, music book that's actually from Finland. And then on the back here, I've done a little pocket with this bird, some material. It's actually from a, a small envelope. And then here is one of Shakespeare's um, quotes from Henry VI, when it's the Lancaster and York roses. And then I've used medieval mirage papers throughout because they've got some beautiful rose designs on. It's, I'll put the description below. It's the illuminated... Flora Volume 1 that I've used. No tracing paper, more medieval mirage. And then this image that's from an old herbal book that I had, which I really like. And on the back there, lovely um, botanical illustration. And then I printed out some of this. Uh, this is, I think this is from, yeah, this is from Roxy Creations. It's her green um, digital designs and I, I printed out one of them on some material again and I've just used that as edging and then that flips open. There's a little space for writing there and then pocket here. And then I just, I had this rose postcard and I've just made it into a little booklet. Edith Holden made it into a pocket. Let's tuck that back in. And then this is a, a bookmark I made. It's uh, 
one of um, the, I can't remember the artist, but one of the turn of the century Art Nouveau um, Glasgow School of Art artists. Um, she's done this beautiful drawing here, painting I should add, with roses in it. And I, well, it's, obviously it's supposed to go this way, but I just, I've got it this way because I wanted to make a bookmark. And then I've just put a little bit of um, one of the Tim Holtz uh, dog rose images there and some lace. Um, another botanical, some dog roses. And then here's a little pocket. This is the back of a window envelope and I actually, it was um, a flip up originally but it, I felt it was sticking up too much so I've actually glued it and then I've put this um, embroidery thread around it and then there's a little collaged journaling card there that you could write on so that tucks in there. I think, yeah, in there. And then there's some crochet behind. It's medieval mirage. And then here's some collage again. Um, and that can tuck in there. There's a tea card. A little bit of crochet material and I've stamped the back with um, a French writing stamp and then here this is from a herbal book that tells you all about roses um, and how they would have been used herbally and medicinally quotes from Gerard and, and Karl Pepper as well some embossing oh that's stuck a bit there and then this is the other side of the window envelope this is uh, stamped on material and then there's a bit for writing on under there and then this is a, co co a collage on this then there's the pocket and then there's a, another collaged journaling card there that tucks in and then here's another book out of the old herbal um, it's got some recipes in it for rose water um, and then it talks about potpourri, uh, rose hips, just yeah, just information about how roses have been used and some things that you can make out of them. And then here's the other um, Edith Holden page that's been made into a pocket, there's a little bit of collage there. And then this is another journaling tag I made, collage one, a little bit of lace down there so you can actually tuck something in. And then here's the lace pocket um, and I've got a Tim Holtz die cut there that I've gessoed over to make it less shiny and um, then I've put a seal on the top which is uh, actually from a glue gun with this stamp on the back and then some gold which I like and then here's another journaling card that's a lovely image from um, the painter, the pre-Raphaelite painter Rossetti and I've done the rose embossed and then a little bit of sewing and this um, material tie on the top there, so that tucks in there and then that's out of an old encyclopedia and then this is another collaged pocket there I got out of a, uh, this came out of an old, old book about roses and some, I think yeah that was one of Pepin's uh, books, this paper, they're Japanese um, book lovely papers in that and then there's another rose tea card and then here is another journaling card that I've made with some dog roses and foxgloves it's a big tag and then medieval mirage and then medieval mirage again and then this is uh, out of the old herbal and it's how to make rose potpourri 
and then there's the back pocket there and then I've, I've also made this little book and this goes in the back pocket and this book um, I got the idea from a tutorial that I saw on um, Roxy Creations and she did this lovely little booklet that you could put photos in out of envelopes and also it had um, like a, a little um, book tucked in it so I followed that and this is my my take on it so I've used some of her green digital kit images again and the material and then some some collage and then there's collage here and then this is the little book that tucks in there so you can take that out and then here's a pocket with lovely old um, postcard, art postcard in and then medieval mirage papers and I've used this vintagey material here so it's a lovely kind of faded colour two pockets and this one that's a little envelope unwinds and opens and then there's the back with some more stamping on and then this one is a little um, clear tag that I made out of a laminate pouch and it's got a pressed dog rose in and, and some lace, old lace and a little bit of crochet um, and then these little pink um, bradlets and then on the back it's got just a little bit of crochet and um, this window where you can see this image of a dog rose that's actually from Edith Holden book I had and then this paper, this lovely rose paper so that's that So there you go, that's my um, rose junk journal, fabric junk journal and the little book to go with it. I had great fun making this, um, I haven't done any sewing much and I've got a really old sewing machine, 1915 Singer, it's beautiful and um, well, of course it only does one stitch but uh, I just really like doing this book on the old Singer. It was, it was great fun to do. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up um, if you did. Um, and this book will be in my Etsy shop soon. So I'll put a link to that down below. Alright then, thanks for watching.